earliest memory of Bathurst? Post-war, oh, please. Post-war. Yeah, post-war. post-war. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, took me um, six years to pull fourth into the cutting because I was too scared to downshift to third. Three <laughs> <years>. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Drivers only episode. Episode five. Reynolds, you've been on a few of these. Dave Reynolds joins us in the Melbourne studio. In the Brisbane studio, we've gone interstate. Interstate. We've first time ever. Craig Lowndes, the modern goat of Bathurst. The modern goat. <laughs> <laughs> and Will Davison from Shell V Power Racing. Welcome, boys. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm sweating up here. How are you down there? Uh, We're still freezing in still Melbourne. Cold, yeah. Still freezing in Melbourne. It hasn't changed since you went home from yeah, Sandown. It was actually looking pretty good before Sandown, wasn't it? It was actually sort of well, getting into spring I mean, and it was like 22, 23. Well, you, and then we'd get to Sandown, good. 13 degrees. You don't say good, it's just less bad. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's not like, the the car cold, park was still it's not like Brisbane, mud. the Gold Coast, where it's like 30 degrees already up there. Uh, big right. time of year, boys. Lounsey, this is like we mm. only get two months of the year that we can call ourselves race car drivers, so we're in the middle of that. Obviously, Will and Dave full time, but uh, let's debrief Sandown. Uh, let's start with Craig Lowndes. Wild card with Cooper Murray. Great result for the team. Cooper was strong at the end. How was Craig Lowndes' weekend? No, my weekend was really relaxed, pretty chill, to be honest. I think that, uh, you know, watching uh, little Cooper do both Super 2 and the main game, running back and forth was was quite entertaining, to be honest. It was sort of, he'd run into the transport, it'd, like, it'd be like a Superman, rip all his gear off, put all our gear on, and then uh, jump in the car. But the one question we didn't have, which we do now have, is he ha- if, if he did or did not have any endurance. And that was a big question because Super 2, as you know, only does five laps and there's a safety car. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's like, bugger me, can we, can we actually get this kid to do double stints at Bathurst? And uh, I think we've ticked that box now. <laughs> so how, I've got a question for you. How come he was um, like the main driver? No, no, yeah. he was he was he was the, the the co-driver. I was the main driver. But he but did he qualify? Yeah, no, then... the, the reason they made Lounsey yeah. the main driver is then he could start and they could do the traditional oh, strategy. And I coo- see. So they only did one driver change. So that was traditional stand down strategy for the wild car. Loophole, loophole, loophole and a new rule. But we'll, we'll mm. not get into that. Hey, hey, Most of the cars make the rules. We'll, isn't it? we'll get into that a little <laughs> bit later. <laughs> Will, but, Will, but you shared the car with a very young uh, co-driver as well, in Kai Allen. How was your? Yes. Ice? You guys were pitted next to us, and it looked like they were rebuilding the front of your thing pretty heavily <laughs> halfway through the race. Well, I didn't help that actually. <laughs> oh yeah, well Dave, Dave started off by giving the rear a little, you know, a little touch up. <laughs> a little Lap one. Twenty-two, yeah. only only so one hundred and forty to go. It's like <laughs> just all counting right. down. Was that five, those primary four. drivers out of control at the start of a race? Oh, here we all were thinking, <laughs> listen, we need to run these co-drivers through these rules. They're a bit tricky. We've only had how many months to get used to it? <laughs> First one in Juros and, uh, yeah, there was Dave in my back. Yeah, sorry Making about all that, my man. fears come true <laughs> of just let's make sure this sensitive little rear diffuser is nice and straight for the run home. I've just got to keep this car straight. No, nah, no, nah, thanks, mate. Parachute engaged. Cheers. <laughs> Mate, I've just been absolutely rear-ended. What on earth happened then? <laughs> Reynolds. <laughs> sorry, pal. I'm really sorry. I actually did apologise to you. I rang you, you after I left the track and night. said, dude, you sorry, did. sorry. Like, I was, Listen, um, as you like, hit me, though, I then looked in the mirror and I saw it five wide. I, I think it was Slade <laughs> ploughing you, and I think I even saw a Slee Elk. <laughs> we were coming with all four locked as well. So, so where, where, was that? where was that? It was down the front straight into turn one because the um, safety yep. wall, the, the ADK. Oh, is that that one? What, 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 what do they call it? It was right. Y- right. Wood. FYC. Full course yellow. So what yeah. happens is these days is like the FYC gets triggered and then you get 15 seconds, which is a really long time it's too to long. slow down to 80. Who's the bravest? I'll stay flat till at least seven. Yeah. Well, What's your number? You're like, What's your number? <laughs> well, it depends how fast well, you're going where you are on the track. track. You go. So where were this? This was the end of the front straight. Yes. Were you in the braking zone yet or you're still well, full noise? No, 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 because um, Ryan Wood is in front of us and he sort of buttoned off to try and, I don't know what he was doing, but maybe he was trying he to He was conservative. Yeah, he, yeah, was he conservative. was trying to get space to stop double stacking, I think. I don't know, to Chaz. Uh, is that what you reckon? Okay. Well, yeah, possibly. Possibly. And then, um, <laughs> so then he, he stopped, he started to slow down, but then accelerated again. So then Will's done the same thing and I've done the same thing. And usually from like four, after I get the countdown from five on my dash, that's when I start to like really manage my, my speed to 80 Ks. 
And obviously, Will's tried to slow down slow, maybe a second slower than me. I think I got to and I looked at about up. two seconds. Yeah, I try, and, I try and get to, to it at zero seconds. Yeah. Like, <laughs> stupid professional I am. And then yeah. uh, I looked up and I was like, oh, shit, this is going to be a big one. And then, it is oh, hard, though, isn't it? Because you got, you're looking so at the clock, so the speed, yeah, exactly. and then hopefully in front of you, Dave. So I went to the left of Ryan Wood, if you would have noticed. Yeah, well. But all um, this while this is There was only six car lengths looking? either side. I'm looking car. at my dash. Are you <laughs> looking out the windscreen or are you looking at your dash? Well, I'm looking at my dash trying to maximize the distance to, to the car in front in case we do go into the pit stops. I can maybe jump in, possibly. Um, well, you so, were deep. Yeah. You did well. It was I did, committed. yeah. I was deep into your car. That's how deep <laughs> yes. it was. <laughs> and where were you was... looking, Wilbur? Are you looking at your dash, trying uh, to maximise your 80Ks? Uh, left. Yeah, listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I was on the conservative side, only because Woody went super conservative. Yeah. And then I thought, Which Tassie, like I, had a, I had a bit of a, <laughs> there was a bit of a close call at Tassie down the back straight. And I thought, well, then the safety car got scrambled anyway. And I'm like, I'm not going to risk a drive through. To be a hero for no reason. Mm. So only 140 to go, Dave. I thought, I'm just, I'll just go a little conservative. It's Sorry, okay. I was racing. That's right. So, <laughs> never mind. I mean, we've... we'll never learn. I'm listening. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm terrible at that stuff. We've lobbed, we've lobbed straight into full course yellow here. So, yeah. well, it's it, a big talking point. Does it, is a big does it work? Point. Well, it sort of does for, as, for, as a, a safety standpoint, but it's really boring to watch because, you know, uh, the way the rule is happening, they do two laps under FYC before they put the safety car out. So they've got three I laps. I stacked minimum. anyway. Hey? <laughs> you guys, I why did anyway. you guys stack? I don't why, know. How did you stack? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. You I guys probably know. need to debrief that. So Yeah, we have. We have listened. <laughs> in depth. Okay. It, it, you just don't want to tell us, Will. It does work sometimes, <laughs> yeah. but not all the time, I think. You so, know? okay, let's use the last one. At Sandown, when Brody Kostecki's engine failed up the back straight, yeah, they we they done one lap under full course yellow, and then the car was in the lane, and then they did a further two laps as per under the, full course. Is that yellow. like the Michael Massey rule set? <laughs> no, well, if you Massey was in control, mate, we were racing straight away. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. That was. I think, yeah, so, the Abu Dhabi so, 2021. Did that take the sting out of the? Did that take the sting out of the tail of the race? <laughs> Uh, maybe, I don't know. But like Brady was stuck on the side of the track and we still passed him at 260 k's an hour for a mm-hmm. lap, I think, before the safety car come out. Mm-hmm. So, or before yeah, I mean, the, the car was, come out. Brody's car was out of danger. So they recovered the car uh, under the first FCY lap. Yeah. And a, a few cars jumped in because they go, going, well, this is going to be a short one. So they jumped in and took the, the gamble late in the race to put fresh tyres on. Yeah. And then there was a further two laps after that. And then anyone that missed the first lap went, oh, We'll just pit again. That's a yeah. good idea. Let's do that yep. and cover them. And then the ones that finally went, oh, now we're in trouble. We've got to cover them off. So three laps for what I felt like was probably a one lap full course yellow. 100%. So does yeah, it take, yeah. as it, it stands at the moment, does it take the strategy element out of it? Because one of the. Well, it you does know, because you just, you just wait. You just yeah. see who takes that first lap. And if, if you're racing that person, they take it. Well, then you go, oh, okay, maybe I should pop into pit lane and put some tyres on. But it takes the element of risk out. So back in the old days when the safety car was deployed, the guys in the pit lane literally had like one or two seconds to make a choice whether they were pitting or not. And now they've got like six minutes to make a choice yeah. whether they want to take tyres and fuel and whatnot. So it sort of takes that element of risk out and, you know, the possibility of losing and, and winning in, in a safety car situation. So I don't know what it was like to watch from, but in the... It takes it, a long time. Yeah, in the car, it took a long time to actually complete the whole cycle. So. Would we prefer to spend these races or, or fuel races? I mean, but don't forget the double that, stacking might make it exciting for everyone watching. But yeah, double always, stacking's great. I think it, it, it's it, it puts it back on the drivers. <laughs> and and listen, we've, all, team, we've all gained from it and lost from it probably equally over the years. But you yeah, got the biggest uh, race I, of years in a few weeks and your whole focus for 130 laps is to make sure... You don't but get we'll, ruined we, by that. We, we can't do FYC or FCY for two laps of Bathurst. It'll be 12, 15 oh. minutes under FYC. Mm. And we it's, also it's never went back long. to green. We always went from full course That's, to oh, safety so car. Why, no, yes. why, did why just have them? Yeah. yeah. We did one, re, we did one uh, go green from FCY at Sandown, yes. which we mm. should have done with the Brody Kostecki one. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we've got to circle back because this is all done. This is all done so that we can get safety marshals or recovery marshals on the track more quickly because the cars are instantly down to 80k an hour. Yeah. So we can get the mm. recoveries done more quickly so we can get back to racing more quickly. But somehow we're tripling the time that it yeah. takes to do a very minor recovery. All right, let's um, let's. I've clo- got let's something on that, out. actually. Okay, go run So up. why can't we just... Have you, we've all done indoor go-karting, right? Okay, here and we go. In indoor go-karts, <laughs> when there's an accident, they press the button and all the... All the oh. 
Go karts go down to like one speed. Why can't supercars just implement that and just because press a button? We all go down to speed at the same time. Like indoor go karts have it. Why can't we have it? Um, It'd save your car, Reynolds. <laughs> <Reynolds. Because laughs> hey, it would too, <laughs> yes. Because I wouldn't have my front of the car stuffed and the rear, rear of my car stuffed and be a sale all day. Because well, indoor go-karts are doing maybe 30k an hour. We're doing maybe 300k an hour. It's probably yeah, I a know, bit more. It's just another zero. Big deal. <laughs> okay. Let's test that on your car, Dave. Uh, let's close out Sandown. Who impressed Craig Lowndes? Who, well, I think we're going to know the answer to this one, but who impressed you the most at Sandown? Well, uh, yeah, I'd say Cooper, only because he put his elbows oh, what out. A surprise. Oh, I know. But look, look, I actually spoke to Cam after the race, and I said to Cam, why in the hell did you hit us on the restart? He goes, well, I was always going to hit him. So uh, <laughs> he just he was putting pressure on the young kid, and he actually got his elbows out. I was really impressed. Yeah. I thought your car would have been stuffed after that because he went through like the um, he did the turn well, two whoops. Yeah. Where did he hit him? Where did they touch those two? In uh, turn he, two? Hit turn Water two. Tried to pass him, and then they go the inside of turn two. Interesting yeah. new passing opportunities on the weekend. Yeah. Everyone was trying it two, four. Mm. <laughs> like, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> this is new. Yeah, there's the a lot going four, on. At four. There was plenty of touches. Everyone forgot about like a new, turn one. <laughs> new curb on the inside of four, so people were just four wheels across that. Bomb diving. Bomb. Yeah, uh, that's a bit rude. Bomb somewhere. diving. That's a new one. Uh, uh, Wilbur, dive, dive bombing. Wilbur, who bomb impressed you? At, who impressed you at Sandown? Hmm. Uh, who impressed me at Sandown? Oh, CL, I love it. <laughs> CL, like top five, that's pretty mm-hmm. That's pretty awesome for a wild card. Drag me out. I was watching, hang on, no, I wasn't watching the start. When I got out and uh, GT, you were, you were uh, all over those guys. Um, I can't remember who it was. I think I was more, I was like, that car's working well on the last sector. <laughs> but you were pretty close to those Red Bull guys. And... I just love seeing older guys just absolutely nail it. <laughs> no, no, no. Fernando Alonso. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's an interesting race because I think we saw a fair bit of silliness. Hmm. Like, we all started the race and it was a bit weird. Will? No, no, because you're normally very sensible, Dave. <laughs> normally I, I am, just, yeah. I think that was just a lack of eyes up. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you meant that. But uh, early on, and you know you can damage your car at Sandown, and I'm like, I'm on the grid going... It's an enduro, Will. It's an enduro. It lets you know, let's not go into sprint mode, mind. But um, then you look at the start, and I think it was JC into Wood, and he's half backwards at one. And, and then obviously Anton was then drilled at four. And I'm like, Christ, this uh, the straight car situation. It's going to be one of those days. So I'm like, I'm going to play it smart today. But um, clearly, <laughs> our car got, uh, I got more hits than Elvis throughout the day. <laughs> Reynolds, who impressed you? Who impressed me? Um, well, I, I, I wouldn't. Oh, it's not. I'm impressed by watching the co-drivers go, because like it was all quite normal and professional when the mm. when the main drivers out there. But when the co-drivers got in, it was like pandemonium. It was awesome <laughs> to watch, and that's what impressed me. Okay, so question: Does the rule of starting the primary drivers did, does does it work? I, I don't Do know. Take the strategy We've only done it once. Of it? Well, it does take the strategy yeah. out, but everyone would have done the same strategy anyway. Back they would have the done the lounge strategy. They would have done, yeah, the lounge strategy. Mm. Yeah, well, what's wrong the with old that? Strategy. Nothing's, mm. nothing's wrong no. with it. It's, it's completely But does normal. it work? Did it work? We've only, I mean, sample size no. is only one at the moment. Exactly. It's only so one. Lounge, but lounge, it, lounge no. sounds very vocal on this. Go. Well, it, it does. It takes away it's a strategy, pretty, especially when we go to Bathurst. Like, I understand that what they're trying to do in the sense of, I think it's a weather dependent. If it's a wet start, I can, I can gather bit of a common sense about that, having the main drivers start the race. But at the end of the day, you, co-drivers, we, we pick co-drivers because of their hopefully Ew. speed and their their sensibility. So they should have the, the pressure of starting a race as much as we are. It's one thing the co-driver report doesn't show, does it? I was looking at that yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, where's the sense in this? You see some of the, the, the best performing co-drivers, what I thought were a long way down the mm. performance yeah. of the co-driver well, report. Was, I made that point before the race that... Um, a lot of co-drivers are doing an amazing job anonymously and you won't know <laughs> yeah, it unless right. you're in team land and you, you go right into the numbers and you de- digest it in the analysis after the race. You go, mm. holy smokes, that guy did a mega job. I did not that's see right. one second of that. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Because he wasn't locked up through the grass. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you know, exactly. Because he did a good job. So, so elbows out, it's a, it's a tricky one, isn't it? I think you appreciate the co-driver getting the elbows out in a way. Mm. Um, until you get in the car and your steering wheel's, you know, halfway down <laughs> right, and yeah. the bumper's hanging off it. And everyone's like, he did a good job and now I'm slow. But uh, <laughs> that's not Kai. Actually, Kai got wiped out. But uh, last time yeah. I gave It's a tricky to, one, isn't it? Last stand down, I gave it to my co-driver to start the race and um, he drove the wheels off it. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I did. <laughs> the wheels fell off the thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, yes. you know, I wanted to do the debrief to make sure you didn't do the wheels up, Reynolds. No, we've got problems here for the Tanda car. Left rear is off that car. 
outside right, the left rear has come off. Yeah. Okay, that's sand down. Let's lock that away. Thanks for that, because it took off the rear wing of um, the moth uh, car. Moth car, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Good shot, that. Try and do that <laughs> twice. Was. Bounce it off the backboard, use the, get the guardrail yeah. and take someone's wing out. A um, yeah. little bit of news lately, post sand down, pre-Bathurst. Mm. Toyota. That's big, Huge. It's massive big for the sport. Absolutely um, massive. Did anyone see it coming? No, not at all. I'd never heard that in the whispers of the grapevine or anything like that, and I was ever so surprised. Oh, they've always been talking about like a, a Kia or a, a Toyota coming in once we've gone to these generation cars because that's why, in theory, we went to them. Mm. Um, but it's interesting that Walkinshaw is the first to jump. Mm. Probably not surprised if no, someone said six months ago, who's going to be the next well, who's the second team? team? Who's well, the second good, team? Who's question. capable? Good question. Oh, yeah. I think, well, I think we have answers on a t-shirt, we, we have answers on a t-shirt, I reckon. In oh, yeah. our pod right now, <laughs> oh, yeah. David Toyota Reynolds has got Toyota on his team. Oh, sorry, you said who's going to be the second, second team, team. Of Toyota. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying who could be another homologation team. Oh, no, yeah. well, the second no, there's only ever yeah, one well. homologating team. Yeah, so Walkinshaws are the factory team, if you like, and yep. they've said that they will pick a second team uh, yeah. halfway through twenty five. Is that 100% through, is Dave's that t- going to have a Land Cruiser company? Yeah. I think so. Cruiser. I was thinking, I was thinking more like a Stinger Man. I was thinking more like a Toyota. Yeah. Like a, like a Supra or a Rim Stinger? Supra. Toyota Echo. 86 for you, Dave. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have been enjoying the Fast and the Furious memes with like Warren mm. Ryan Walkinshaw and the Toyota Supra. Yeah, it's right. really funny. <laughs> So I remember good when you were sport. young, you I, had that little RX-7, Dave. You picked me up one day and uh, I didn't think I was going to make it home. You had the skeleton <laughs> gear knob on it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a Formula Ford kid. I'm like, he's like, let's go to dinner. <laughs> we went to Frostbite, oh, wow. so I remember. Oh, did, did we? Take yeah. you to Hungry Jack's? Nah, yeah. Frostbite. Do you remember Frostbite? Yeah, yeah, flat shifting. Yeah, I'm just looking at the, uh, the gear stick and oh, he was, Dave was having one of his excited little <laughs> moments <laughs> in, in, in the drizzle. I'm like, oh dear. Oh, okay. yeah, uh, getting back to your uh, question, GT, yes, I think it's good for the sport because when we saw the other brands coming in, they actually, like, it was interesting to see the reaction before they came in and no one wanted it. They just wanted the traditional Ford, then Holden, GM. But when they did come in, everyone loved it. So Mm. I think Toyota coming into the sport. The other interesting thing is, is on the weekend with the Singapore race, we had some representatives up there. So Mm. we could even be up there as well. Really? Have you got news to break, Lowndes? No, no, I just oh, I know that uh, right. some of our uh, key so, supercars people were up that way, so they are. Yep. it's a good good little area for Toyota. But some if you could have picked any shirters. any manufacturer like top of the pot, really, to oh, Toyota would be a oh, global, yeah, yeah. global. Oh, yeah. That was the one for years everyone's mentioned, and it was kind oh, of well, they've happened, got like 25% of the market yeah, in the Australia. The world's Australia, largest so, car like, maker, yeah. biggest, mm. biggest, yeah, biggest sales in Australia. Like, it's the big dog nowadays in Australian motoring, so... They've been mm. flirting with supercars for 20 years. So I think it actually will open the floodgates because if yeah. other manufacturers that are maybe casually looking at supercars go, wow, if Toyota, after 20 years of looking at supercars, have decided now's the time to jump in, there must be something in that. So I would imagine mm. that there will be corporate offices in Australia for other manufacturers revisiting their, their strategic plan with supercars on the back of Toyota's decision. Whether that leads to another manufacturer, I don't know, but they'll be certainly looking at it for sure because it's Toyota moves the market. like They dictate the market. Mm. They've so, got such a large percentage of it that yeah. they can dictate what they want. Uh, so so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's a really good yeah. move. No, I think I so can't. Are you Dave what, driving one of their products? Yeah, yeah Dave's really Well, no, I actually drive a, <laughs> yeah. a, what, what engine a are Silverado using, at the minute. <laughs> what I actually don't know anything about it. I only found this out last week. So oh, I think it's surprising <laughs> that um, a pretty high-profile driver has left one of the Ford factory teams to go to a, what was at the time seemed to be a very small two-car operation. <laughs> And maybe that he had some intel that maybe I'm there was a big, <laughs> a big <laughs> deal, a big deal, I'm in the, who, who a big deal in the big deal in the in the wind that maybe <laughs> hey, if you come to our team, some good things are going to happen in the future. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea about. I wasn't it. talking about I, you, Reynolds. Oh, you weren't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's, so are that's you, are you pointing at Anton there? Are you? Maybe. Apparently, maybe, the yeah, engine's right. the same out of the NASCAR. It's going to be. 
Oh, sorry, Dakar car. The Dak yeah, no, it's a, it's a quad cam, five five litre capacity mm. oh, yeah. engine. So very similar to the Ford engine. How are the Ford engines going, by the way? Well, well maybe <laughs> not, not the best at the moment. <laughs> are they going to make Bathurst? Uh, there, will be Ford, there will be Ford engines at Bathurst. Why are you asking this question, David? Well, because we've had a few failures recently. <laughs> do, you, do you miss your Mustang from last year, though, Dave? Because it was going very well. <laughs> it was my Mustang. It was going awesome. You won some races. Yeah, I was going Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I love it. I enjoyed my time with Grove Racing and had a great time and <laughs> I'm driving a Chev now. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. Uh, who's going to go look at the Supra at Bathurst? They'll have a concept or a mock-up of their I'll have a look. Uh, Gen 3 car there. Reynolds is going to have a look. <laughs> I'll have a look. Is it going, up in, your, is it going up in your truck? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going up in my truck. Is someone driving or it's just like No, a, it's just a mock-up. Oh, okay, so I think they're doing a full-size clay model yeah, okay. of the car. Because the, 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 the actual car is quite small, so they have to like stretch it, don't they, mm. to make to... A little mm. bit to sort of make the um. It's got Volvo S40 vibes about it. Ooh, oh, that's really? Is, well, well they're talking that about uh, talking about stretching cars over the driving gen, that thing at seventy percent throttle for a few test days. You remember that? What's that? <laughs> That's right. When you have one team with a new manufacturer, it's dangerous. You know. Well, no, you'd have to argue that the testing. Uh, We're a lot it's a lot this. more rigid now. Obviously, with yeah, no, hundred percent things have improved. Yeah. I'm just laughing at that opening day at SMP where yeah. I think, I'm not sure <laughs> if right. Scott would actually admit this publicly. But I think he's I, like, yeah, yeah, mate. I was driving around at seventy yeah, percent throttle all day. I was, I was catching people that much was, down the straight. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen some data having driven for that. Time. <laughs> oh yeah, you did too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was um, it was quite quite that, a lot of potential that car. That car sounded <laughs> awesome. yes. when they started up for the first time. I was like, Jesus, that mm. sounds amazing. Uh, mm. The Merc sounded great. Mm. Um, <laughs> that was a full stop right yeah, there. Yeah, like, no, no, that's a beautiful car. Good team. Yeah. Mm. Just joking. They were good. Actually, look back on that. I think someone just touched on that where our sport's based on red versus blue. People come and crash the party. No one's happy mm. until it's gone. And then it's like, oh, how good was the Volvo and mm. the Merc yeah, and the right. Nissan? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was fantastic. Really cool. Well, yeah, even now, like, I mean, Will and Dave are probably too young, but you, people retrospectively think about the Group C touring car era of Australian mm. motorsport, the mid, early to mid 80s. Like, oh, that was the golden era. And mm. you look at the grid sizes and there was <laughs> 13 cars and pole was uh, three seconds faster than second and all the rest of it. The cars were cool, but it wasn't probably yeah. the best motorsport era no. of the time. Is that so, when minis were rolling around yeah, too? No, that, minis were 60s. Mate. 60s. Yeah, okay. bit, <laughs> Group C so, mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, C mini. Um, yeah. So we're in enduro mode at the moment, um, and when we don't currently have the enduro cup anymore, do we? So we have two enduro races, but there's not really an enduro cup. So we're we're fifty fifty here: two primary drivers, two co-drivers. Do we need to have another endurance race to, and as part of the expanding of the calendar, hopefully one day in the future, do we need to add another endurance race to add more of the enduro element into our sport? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's straight up. Like a true well, co-driver. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think, I think like when they used to have three, it was really good. I reckon they could even have four if they wanted to. Like, well, four's a lot. No, no, no. Yeah, sounds yeah. like I, a lot of work. For, for us guys, for myself. Just a um, full was, enduro championship yeah. coming at this no, time in my like, career. That'd be beautiful. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. No, I don't think. <laughs> These two guys probably not far away from enduro roles. Going, yeah, four of them. Because I can jack the contract price. No, I think, I think we don't want to have three when we're 12 races as a championship because as mm. a percentage of the championship, that's too much. But if we do expand to 14 races, for example, then mm. I, I, why couldn't we have go Four. back to three co-driver races? Well, I think it will be three next year, won't it? Will it? I think so. Mm. As far as I'm concerned. No, I'm not so sure it will be. I'm, I'm not really so sure about so. that either. But the question oh, is okay. because don't forget the Ben's back on the calendar ah, next year yes. and they've been... I don't know oh, if it's officially promised on paper and signed off on, but from what I understand that an enduro will be at the bend. So we may not necessarily mm. have the Sandown 500 next year as a two driver race. Oh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Actually, what, the bend, I think the bend will be great as an endurance. Not venue. going to Sandown for like an enduro race? No, for the two driver, no. the traditional precursor Bathurst race. Um, yeah, was it last year or the year before we just went to we went straight to the one thousand? That we was missed... 19. nineteen. Nineteen was yeah, it really? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, oh that was that time's passed a lot <laughs> faster yeah. than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised what year it is. <laughs> you um, now have two children, Dave. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my life gone? Yeah, yeah. It's nappies collapsing and, nappies and midnight changes. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. I know. I'm still in the full swing of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do like having a precursor. Um, 
Oh, we will, we will. I would imagine yeah. that there will be a 500k race pre Bathurst, but it won't be the Sandown 500, oh, okay, yeah. which is the may not be. I love may Sandown not. as a track. I love like the historical part of it. I love the track layout. I love the curbs. I love everything about it. Besides the weather, the weather sucks, and everyone knows that. It's actually a really cool place <laughs> yeah, to but drive. Isn't that, in. Isn't that cool there's got though? Hit. The weather being well, it does add an element. I was hoping but... for chaos Friday night. I'm like, let's just pour down all weekend. Have My car was amazing. Good old but, famous you know, historical Sandown 500s mm, with absolute mm. carnage in the mud. And I mean, I wasn't that quick in the drive. <laughs> so, I, mean, I was really hoping for one of those <laughs> same, days. Actually, same. <laughs> but I, I do, I do love uh, Sandown because it has a lot of deg. So you do have to like drive it a certain way to look after the tire. You can see people in the pack like expend their energy on their tyre like straight away and you know you're going to get them later. And there's that sort of element of um, finesse and, you know, experience that you need to drive a car. So I do, I do love, I do love Sandown as an endurance race. And we've had a 500 yep. at the Phillip Island yep. and QR, QR. Mm. and it doesn't actually, really have the same. I actually drove a Will Davison yeah. at the Phillip Island 500. Did you? Yes. We, that didn't how, last long. How did that, that go? Did it. How did that go? That was a hate I can't you, How did we go? We were, there were three of <laughs> yeah, us. Uh, uh, no, yeah. Dave, I recall, I think you ripped the steering out early or someone hit you. you? Remember down, I think it was Lukey Heights or MG. Didn't what you, did you crash with? Like 2010. 2010. I can't remember. I don't think I crashed, did I? Uh, no, I think someone hit you. I think we DNF'd. Did you? I'm sure. I didn't what year drive. was that? What year was that? 2010. 2010. <laughs> 2010. So, so who did I have? Cam McConnell. I'd had a 100% win yeah. record with HRT till then. Garth and I, we took them both out in 09. <clears throat> mm. Bring Reynolds then, in, the young guy that we'd groomed, and he crashed it. Stuffed it, it up. Mm. I, don't, I don't remember crashing. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I was highly there. guilty for That's that. That's Sorry, Dave. I still regret that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you guys were Only because what he was going to do on the podium Wilbur did a whole lot it. more damage at Bathurst. <laughs> what was he going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he was going to have his race suit on anyway. Oh, okay. What did you say, Dave? <laughs> I think there was like, I don't know, 20 laps to go, and they said, oh, you're looking looking like you're going to come third. Are you, are you going to celebrate in a certain way? I said, yeah, I'm going to stand naked on the podium. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. They must have told Will. Remember, yeah, told Will. Yeah. Well, CL and J Dub were in front. We're just in a big fuel save. Yeah. yeah. Actually, rumor, rumor has it, without the safety car I caused, you guys weren't going to make it home. I, I was, I was, was yeah. very tight. His was very tight. I, I was good. Were you? Well, I was yeah. better. Because I'll we we never forget. I think it was lap 153. I mean, yeah, it was exactly yeah. that lap. That's what it was. And uh, I remember that lap. Mm. It was just saving, saving. And I'm like, well, we're going to try and win this thing or not. Like, I didn't, you guys were saving. And it was literally like, just go. Yeah. Just go. We don't know if we're going to make it. We were good. And I, I went. <laughs> yeah. Into the fence. Yeah, that, happened, <laughs> into the fence. that happened right that was in the first time right I heard me. Oh, I right hurt in myself. Front of me. Yeah, it really hurt. Oh. And he's made big contact, big contact up at Reed Park on the exit of it. He's hurting. It's knocked the wind out of him for sure. Yeah, and I went bit. flat down to the grate, the old cars. You know how hard, you know, hard we had it back in the day, guys. Yeah. But I just, the rear car. just stepped and I grabbed the marbles and, um, oh, ouch. Yeah. You broke your rib, didn't you? Or yeah, I did. Or cracked the rib? Mm. Yeah. Same yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. Opened a tear duct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I was, I was out my, for a little At least bit. my pants got to stay on. Well, oh, in, I still in, in, that, in that vision, I think it's time to take a break. So after this, we'll have more Bathurst. We'll talk, start talking Bathurst, start talking Gen 3 and what we've got to look forward to in the near future of Supercar. Stay with us, the More Drivers Only podcast after this break. Okay, Supercar fans, did you even know about this awesome shotgun feature in the Supercars app? Be right there, live, on board with your favourite driver, with some graphic data, or any car from the entire field. So if you love your supercars as much as I do, I reckon you've got to be across this cool feature in the Supercars app. We call it Shotgun. To upgrade in the Supercars app, tap Discover, and then go to your profile and swipe across to Membership. Welcome back to our post Sandown pre Bathurst drivers only podcast. This is episode five. We have David Reynolds with me here in Melbourne, Craig Lowndes, and Will Davison in the Brisbane studios. And in the run to Bathurst, guys, and we'll have some pretty wide and varied 
versions of this. So I want to know what your very first memory of Bathurst. So, Will Davison, you're from a racing dynasty, not necessarily a Bathurst racing dynasty, no. but what's your first memory of Bathurst? As in my first trip to the mountain? No, no I want to know memory. the, the a memory. first thing when, back, when you think about the earliest thing that you can remember about Bathurst. What is it? That's it. Oh. I wish it was earlier. Like, as you said, I don't think Bathurst is, you know, it's not, my bread and butter was Sandown, Adelaide Formula One. Bathurst, I mean, it's probably a pack of arseholes by Jimmy. No, it's maybe a bit <laughs> earlier than that. It's definitely, I've got images of a Crompo talking his way around in the HRT car. Someone tell me, was that 91, Percy? No, what, uh, Grice and Percy, when did they and win Percy, to HRT? Yeah, 91. 91, 90, yeah. early 90s, yeah. Um, 1990, Cito, that was a VL, yeah. What was the, the no, no, okay, yep. Cedo was it the 87 in the Nissan in the wet? Yeah, I've got yep. images of that. There's hanging it out out of the cutting, but that's, that's, we see that vision everywhere, don't we? Yeah, but, yeah. um, and just those Sierras, this, oh, I mean, 60 horsepower to 600, like a switch, yeah. you know, <laughs> to this day until I've actually got the detail from DJ and Bowie. Like I've just, that's like my dream car. And then DJ's like, mate, it actually wasn't that much fun. It was just my <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the Sierra, I'm just going to go with, um, with the, the Sierras, the onboard shots of the Sierras, shootout laps. You should Rounds. ask DJ about that's what you got uh, with Will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just going to say to Will, you should do his memory. I wish it was earlier, but listen, that's yeah, that's about. You me. should ask DJ about when he was commentating a lap and the rear wing collapsed yeah. on him oh, down into the chase. Well, that's, that's yeah. clear. That, that's the, wasn't that the sprint when they did the sprint yeah. race yeah. there First, in '94? Yeah, yeah. No, mid no, no, it was yeah, '96, yeah. mid '90s. You were, yeah, were you racing then, Lands? Were you racing uh, then? Not, not in the main game, no. No, no, no. I think so I was just about to break into it. Yeah, it must be 93. <laughs> no, it might, maybe early 94, but yeah. So, <laughs> Commentating. <DJ's>, beautiful. <laughs> DJ's had flexi wings back in 94. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> maybe not no? a technical version of a flexi wing. <laughs> Lounge, yeah, no. Lounge, uh, you're, you're the elder statesman of our us, so what's your earliest memory of Bathurst? Post-war, oh, please. Post-war. Yeah, post-war. Post -war. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Colour vision. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> FX Holden. No. Um, the, uh, <laughs> probably the early 80s, I think, is when it really – because, like, Dad used to go there all the time and, and scrutineer and help out and all that sort of stuff. Um and it was actually interesting. Dad still got some old eight millimeter, um, you know, the old uh, projector. You know, he used to drag it out at home and had a white sheet and used to watch it. And there was nothing in pit lane. It was just literally a yellow line that was the difference between a racetrack and a, and a pit lane. There was no wall, no nothing. And uh, but the early eighties, like the big bangers and all that, yeah. like George Fury, um, even Kevin Bartlett and the old Camaro. Like it was, uh, but that era again, like what GT was saying, like the the racing you loved, but if you actually really analysed it now, it was probably <laughs> not that good because it was a big difference between the car, the car. Yeah, well, right. Brock, Brock did win a close one in '79. He only won it by six laps. So. Yeah, <laughs> and he broke the record, I think, in the last lap. Yeah, too. Lap, last lap broke the lap record. Yeah. Can Reynolds. I just uh, something I loved yeah. is uh, what's that vision of a few years ago? We all drove. PB's cars as the... Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. oh, no, what was it we were seeing? When Lowndes really crashed that Monaro. Monaro. Oh, what the Monaro. you really crash down the hill and you're sliding across the bucket seat? I don't know what you're talking about. I've oh, got oh you, you do know because <laughs> there's vision of it, so don't bail out of that one. We <laughs> had the full wobble into the dipper. And that, that was typical Lowndes luck when he gets away with that stuff. If it was any of us other three, we would have crashed the bloody thing and it would have been a massive drama, but Lowndes was smiling. Look at me. Look how good I am. He's completely out of control in this priceless race car. <laughs> Drop brakes, remember? Whoa! Whoa! Hang on. Whoa! I think uh, Lanzi must have missed the briefing about it being a slow lapscaping. Yeah! What was, were you in the 87 VL? Yeah, no, I was no, in the 87. And, oh, man, I was, a good looking I was oh. so scared because it, <laughs> it had just been restored. Like, that was like it, that was like it, almost its first drive. And I'm like, and they're like, yeah, you'll be right. Get into it a bit. And I was like, no nope. chance. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and then I hear about old mate that's having a moment coming down the S's over Skyline in the Monaro. Like, yeah, well, they told me after I got out of the Monaro that they were the original tyres. So, oh, yeah. like, I actually really wanted to try it. and go for a lot. Like, I think back then they were doing, like, three minutes. Three laps. minutes, yep. yeah, just over. So I, I wanted to have a crack at a lap, but Scaife was no in way. one car and yeah, yeah. Uh, Todd Kelly was in another. I had the Bill Patterson uh, Tirana, actually, oh, yeah. the '78 yeah. pole winner. Oh yeah, yeah, and that nice. was great. And then Jamie Singh stopped up to the cutting. Oh, yeah. That's oh, ran, ran out of fuel. <laughs> Typical ran Jamie out story. Ran out of yeah, fuel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jerry can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your Reynolds. list, Melon? Mine, Sorry. mine, uh, yeah. mine was uh, watching on TV, 1984, Hardy's Heroes, Dick Johnson crashing into the trees. I hate to think what the final lap time Oh, he's hit been. the fence oh. and he's gone off the track into a tree. 
Oh, oh yes. Uh, so, um, and then the story after that of them buying the car. So this is, I was in mm. Perth, obviously, growing up. So on the seven news that night, oh, they're trying to do some deal. Then you turn up in the, turn the telecast on in Sunday morning and they'd done the big reshell of another car or taken another car and tried to rebuild Green's Tough into another car and all, that whole thing. It really, as like, oh, Unreal. that was 84. So I was 84. Se- seven. When I should have called it Tree's Tough. Tree's Had tough. a guy last Tree's year, tough. a guy come up last year, which one of the cool things being with DJR on and off for so many years. But I mean, you'd think DJ, he's seen every bit of memorabilia and <laughs> signed every and signed it. Or- <laughs> body orifice in the world <laughs> yeah. and a bit, of, a bit of car part. But there was a guy that that night said he went down to the tree bunch of green bark off the tree that he'd had framed up. Oh, wow. and, no way. And, um, wow. Yeah, yeah, and he, he brought it to the track, and I was like, DJ, you're going to want to see this. And I think even he was a bit wowed. I don't think he believed it at first, but yeah. I think it was, it was 100% some authentic. Some chill salesman painted some yeah. like, <laughs> bit of bark out the back green and said, oh, yeah, yeah, yours, probably. I, I believe yeah, him. That's I believe me, him. That's something I'd do. <laughs> Reynolds? Reynolds? <laughs> My memory, um, oh, it's actually, it's, the 24 hour Bathurst in 1992, oh. the, is it James Hardy 24 hour? And there was, it was a, a 12 hours back The then. 12 hour, sorry. And uh, there was a Mazda RX 7 that was winning, and my old man sat up and watched it. And mm. I remember uh, waking up in the RX morning. 7. Well, it does a little bit. And um, <laughs> so I remember waking up in the morning, it was like eight o'clock in the morning, and I walked out, and my old man started watching the 12 hour, and there was a green. BP, I think it yep, was. BP. BP, yep. RX7. There was. Moffat, Dick Johnson, oh, Dick Johnson oh, Greg Hansford, oh. Neil Crompton, Scaife was driving it. There was like a couple of cars. Mm. Yeah, okay. Some big oh, dudes. Well. So, you know, and some, then I ended some up. Some big dogs doing the big, <laughs> big guns. <laughs> big dogs. Yeah, for you say, say that. that. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I ended up buying RX7 in like when I was 15 years old, a Series 1, and I've, I've still got it today. So, um, oh, yeah. is that the one you were talking about, Will? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that was, yeah. I, that, I had two of them. I had oh, did you? Did you need to get a second one for because the first one. Well, the f- yeah. first one was <laughs> first one was mine. The second one was my brother's that became mine. It was like uh, a hand me down RX seven. Okay. So you yeah, didn't, you but didn't... that's the one that had the skull gear knob. Yeah. And Have you, the, so you've got that sideways one onto the Eastern Freeway. <laughs> 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 that was the City Link, actually. Sorry, not. Um, yes, I know so exactly. I know first, exactly okay, so let's going. keep the Bathurst thing going. And first, um, Wilbur, first mm. time you raced at Bathurst, was it in so, a car? Or was it in something else? It was in a Formula Ford. Yeah, for me. And oh, I that would have been a, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good year for you, GT. Um, uh, was 2000. It, well, yeah. Ah. Is that 2000? Yeah, yeah, is that yeah, you yeah, and yeah, Bugs? Yeah. You yep, and yep, Bugs, yep, 2000? Yeah. Because yep. actually, it is a good Was story, that my old car? No, no. So I'd already raced that all year, the 95 VD, yeah, which is yeah. Garth's 97 championship winning Formula Ford car. Yeah. And that was my first Formula Ford yeah. in 2000. But then at the end of the season, we did the support race at Bathurst in the 98 Van Diemen, which was. My brother's car the year before, and Stewie McColl, our teammate, yep. had raced it that year. So we thought, oh, we'll, we'll do we'll do Bathurst in the in the longer wheelbase, mm-hmm. um, ninety eight VD, and it pissed down with rain all weekend. <laughs> I'll never forget that because I mean I've arrived there. I was in awe anyway. Just the first lap of that place up the mountain, couldn't actually see that the rain was so bad. My first session um, at the mountain and the support pits where we were, um, we I remember getting the car to the grid. And getting back after the session, I had to get a run up. There was like four Formula Fords bogged in the mud. <laughs> and then I got a run up and just like just gassed it and got through to where our pit was. Trucks were buried in. It was anyway, a memorable weekend. But my first ever session, I was P1 by five and a half seconds. Um, but only because I was just the stupid one going yeah, flat out. Not bragging or anything. <laughs> I remember old Mick Ritter just popped his head in. He goes, oh, not bad, knackers. I'm pole by five and a half seconds. I wasn't pole. It was P1. But... Um, yeah, remember and won the race, had a cracker with Nick Aglin for memory. Oh, oh it was yeah. so wet. And then crashed in the second one with him at the chase. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, memorable. Imagine the memorable first time you ever went there pissing down rain. Mm. How oh, I did. The be? first time I went oh, to Bathurst was, was um, Lowndes, you remember these, the media days. Remember we used to go, hmm. the cha- when the championship used to finish at Oran Park in about August, and then we'd go straight up to Bathurst and do the yep. media day. And I'd never seen Bathurst before at all in 98, so obviously raced... Uh, the balance of the championship in 98 and then uh, go up to for the media day, which was on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And uh, and it was, as we were driving through Lithgow, it was snowing. And I'd from Perth, never seen snow before. I was like, holy smokes, <laughs> what's this place all about? And then we got to Bathurst and it, and it was, yeah, it was like nine, it was like 2000, that same, it was just torrential rain. And those of us that are driven for Gary Rogers would know that he just goes, no, nope, you're not driving in the rain. We're not going out there. <laughs> so like everyone's skidding around doing laps of Bathurst. I've never been there before and I didn't 
got to do. I think he let us go out and, and go over the top of the mountain once. And, and that was Thanks, it. Guys. It was pouring with rain. So I got no <laughs> prep, no prep, no laps at all prior to Bathurst in 98. So that was the first time I saw the place and it was, it was underwater. Yeah. What so was much, it actually like, like boys, being able to like fat arm, you know, when the seat was over. Oh, good. Rest the arm <laughs> on the side. It's great. I think my first chassis I could reach it. Yeah. I just, I'm like, I'm a V8 driver down the lane with the elbow up. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, no. Nah. That would have been. You look at some of those shots oh. of you in '94 oh, yeah. CL, and was that? Yeah, that was your debut. '94. Yeah, yeah. '94 GT yeah. and the VS. No, what was '98? Yeah, no, the v- VS. Yeah, VS, yeah, and then with yeah. VT, yeah. VT at the end, yes. Mm. You look inside them some, even now. Some drivers, like, <laughs> some drivers still have long enough arms they can Yeah, do you it. can still fat arm it. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> you, can tell, you can tell those drivers because they drag their knuckles on the ground. <laughs> oh, 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 I've got a cut on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lowndes, what year was, what went? Did you race at Bathurst Formula prior Ford, to, to V8? Did you do Formula yes. Ford or anything? Yeah. yeah, 94. And it was actually interesting because the, the uh, wheel was interesting about you because you drove the Formula Ford there. So, yeah. Um, uh, it was 90... You raced Formula Ford there? No. Oh, See, yeah. 92, oh. Dad Dad gave me the opportunity to either race at Bathurst or go to the Adelaide Street. Oh, okay. So I raced over at Formula One. And I, right. I, I unfortunately didn't race at Bathurst in the Formula Ford. But my first race car at Bathurst was 94, but it was early in the year. It was the 12-hour. I drive a Nissan Pulsar, Triple S, <laughs> oh, mm. with the Morris car. Brothers. Oh, yeah. Classic. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. took me four laps to find a, a radio station because it was a full production car that had just a roll cage and a, and a race <laughs> yeah. seat, everything else, nothing. Beautiful. Um, Wasn't radio station code for cheating in production cars? Where you no, 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 no. Map no. Or something like that? No. You changed the no, dial we weren't or that, something? No, we weren't that smart then. <laughs> um, and I remember we had uh, we were racing Murray Carter. He had a triple S Pulsar as well, but he had the four door. We had the, the basically the five door. Mm. And we were coming down to the last stint and we'd come into the pits. We'd had the TAFE. Uh, help prepare and basically spanner the car the whole weekend. Got to the stop. We had to change brake pads and we couldn't get a brake pedal. Pedal me straight to the floor. Uh-huh. And dad, dad's just yelling at them basically, just open up the nipples, just bleed, <laughs> pump it through, pump it through. So we spent a bit of time in the pit lane. I got a half a brake pedal and he says, all right, lock him up, send him. So I'm running around with a half a brake pedal trying to get this thing pumped up. And uh, it was actually really cool because it was front-wheel drive, and I'd never really raced a front-wheel drive car. It was flat across the top. <laughs> yeah. It was just like – so I think it was third gear. It was flat. Oh. Um, and then Remember we ended up winning time? our class. Oh, it was probably a, like a 16 or an 18 or something. What? Two 16s? <laughs> That's pretty no fast. Way. I, was not, I don't know. I raced, I raced a, a 16 minute. I, I raced a Beetle yeah, it was there. probably a 16 minutes. In 01. I think I did a 236. Yeah, I still had the yeah. flower. We still had the flower. I remember 98. Console. My qualifying time in the supercar was a 14, so there's no way a product a pulsar was. Maybe, maybe it was three that three minute switch. 16. Maybe <laughs> yeah. Either that, or you found a really fast radio station. No, I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> but it was a, it was that first time, and the whole purpose of doing the race was hopefully at the end of '94 getting opportunity, like we did. At least we knew the track yeah, and understood yeah. what it was. And I think you broke at turn two where you were in the pulsar that day. Probably, yeah, yeah, the Bowie up about the 25 <laughs> yeah, yeah, meter yeah. mark. He used to drive in no <laughs> brakes. He missed the brake pedal altogether. That's how he passed Bowie. Um, I, I still reckon Bowie broke early that day. You missed. We the had this pedal. argument. <laughs> no, I, I broke late. There's no doubt about that. But he broke early. <laughs> Reynolds, hey guys, you yes. can still scare yourself at Bathurst every year at the six hour in a production car. You're welcome to come and join me. I've done it the last uh, two years. No thanks. No thanks. No, yeah, good call. <laughs> <laughs> well, Reynolds, what's your? Uh, what was the first thing you drove at Bathurst? Um, well, the first thing I drove at Bathurst was the 996 Cup car, oh, I think yeah. like 05. But my first time in a supercar, I remember I was driving uh, with McConville PWR car. Oh, and um, right. Didn't make the start, did it? Didn't make the start. No, the engine, the the engine smith-mortered oh. himself on the, la- on the warm-up lap. <laughs> it was, was hilarious. Smith-mortered himself. It. Smith mortared himself. It aborted itself, basically. But my memory was like, I remember going out. Don't say it. I remember going out for practice. And all week I've been watching uh, Greg Murphy's shootout lap, like 206 point eight, whatever it is, 206.8. Oh. I'm like, okay, I reckon I could do that. What was your <laughs> first flyer? That's my, a my mistake for like, yeah, My that. first flyer was like a 14 something, <laughs> high 14. I went, holy shit, I am. Miles and you were pace. sure you were doing exactly <laughs> yeah. what Murph I, did, like, didn't you? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like it was miles <laughs> off the pace. I'm like, how am I going to go like... Eight seconds. But that faster. happens every year at Bathurst. <laughs> every, yeah, First every lap year. out. It used yeah. to be oh, more, though. Yeah. I'm sure it used How to be scarier. Away. I don't know. I remember well, that. Well, remember feeling. the surface used to be really bad. It used to be like like very heavy aggregate, like really deg. But now it's like that smooth billiard table surface. It gives you a lot of response. Obviously, our cars have changed quite a lot. 
But the old cars, the old Gen 1 cars are heaps harder to drive. That's my personal opinion anyway. So well, It took um, me six years to pull fourth into the cutting because I was too scared to downshift to third. That would have been slotted into first. That, Maybe that, not six years. When was anyway, that? Cool. When was that? Was that well, sequential oh, by then? No, I did 04, no, 5, actually, 6, 7. Oh, so, so still I did four years age pattern, so you know, I classic yeah, my old fourth back to th- <laughs> Fourth back to third was just straight up, Wilbur. You didn't have to go across the Yeah, but the not gate. when you're hanging over to <laughs> the left. To yeah, the yeah, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, like Murph, you know, turn in flat third. Anyway. You know what Close I'm saying. Maybe I, maybe I exaggerated oh, at, at you know, the expense of myself, but <laughs> you, you, get my, you get what I'm saying. Hey, um, has, the, has the track been resurfaced recently? No, I don't think so. I think it's it's in the works. It's in the works. It's in the works. works. Oh, okay. I got told after our 500 race at the start of the year, it got resurfaced when we left. No, no, no. I think it's in the works. Maybe for next year. Uh, while we're on Bathurst. That always causes a bit of drama. Well, it did last time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> everyone's, getting, race everyone's getting ready for the red flag engine change mid-race. <laughs> the <Yeah>. tail shaft. <laughs> Run the tail shaft. <laughs> Just tape, tape the front of the car up. <laughs> yeah. There was a few I very damaged that cars race. that went very fast after that red I flag. Was, <laughs> I wasn't in that race, so I just wandered down to the grid and there was, yeah, tail shafts. How come? Uprights, what, what happened? Oh, that hey, was the year. Memory the, of tape. That was the year car. Luffy took Lounsey out oh, in practice. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. When the brake failed wow. in our car, in an HRT car, and, and our, the, uh, yeah, wrecked our chassis. So we could. I've got run. a memory of like a lot of race tape on an HRT car that put it yeah. in the, put it in the barrier at turn two, and then they race taped it up, and he went heaps faster than the straight. Went and put it on pole. Yeah, <laughs> that was him. <laughs> yeah, that works well when you race tape them up. They go a lot faster. Uh, while we're on Bathurst, uh, this year form guide. Who are the ones this year? Well, based off the 500, you know, you've got to say the Red Bull guys are very fast. Mm-hmm. Um, the Monster Car will be very fast. Guides. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay, half the then, problem let's, is we've already parked been, the form guides because they're already all the obvious ones. Uh, Smokies. Yeah. Smokies, maybe that Reynolds and Luffy. I no, you can't Smokies. say yourself. Oh, I can't say. <laughs> Luffy, Luffy will go really well. No, that's not myself. You can't say your car, Reynolds. <laughs> 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 Seriously. <laughs> Okay, uh, you, we'll, we'll give you some elevator music time to think about it. Uh, mm. Lowndes, who's your Smokey? Ooh, Smokey, um, that's a good question. Yeah, I reckon, that's why we're uh, not doing the obvious ones. Yeah, yeah. I reckon that uh, yeah, Kai and, and Will. Oh, thanks, Seal. They'll be, uh, they'll be quick. See, so I think, see, what we're doing we're angry. is we're, we're angry pissing people Sandown. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're pissing no. people off because no, anyone think... we say we're not saying they're the obvious ones. <laughs> yeah, true. <that's> right. <laughs> true. But no. form guys, no. Yeah, so Excellent. smoke. Go why, why, Craig? Why? Well, I reckon Kai is a good, good young talent. I think that uh, they'll come out of Sandown, like Will said, like they had a, a shit run, and basically you've got something to prove. And I think that uh, you know you, your cars have been quite good there. Mm. Um, and I think that from memory they were actually all right well, at the start Anton of the was year. Good last yeah, year. well, Anton, Anton was third last year, but the soft tire, obviously, yeah, hard tire at the start of this year. I'd like to think you're right. Mm. Right, we are hit and miss, so but we're capable. of Good mm. goodness, and we're fired up after a shocker yeah. at Sandown. That was pretty embarrassing performance by us. Um, so thanks. Who's your Who's your Smokey? Smokey. Um, what do we got? What do we got? I mean, hmm. I just <laughs> hate play the thinking. Do we, need, do we need to elevate music for you? <laughs> yeah. Dave, Dave, you were pretty good there. I mean, Richie was quick was there okay. too. Yeah, he's Richie he's come good. out of the blocks like yep. first race out of, out of the game for years and set himself up for the year very well. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I'm got, um, can I he's got in? nothing to lose. You can see a few times I've raced him at the moment. He's racing with a uh, a bit of a point to prove, yeah. I think, a bit of an angry man, and he was quick at the start of the year. So we'll. So my we'll actual real Smokey will be uh, Hazelwood and Kostecki. Oh, because he's the reigning champion. Are they Smokies? reigning champion? They've got yeah. number one on the card. Uh, I haven't, I probably haven't. Surprised. Probably yeah. haven't had the recent form to suggest that exactly. they're uh, at red hot. So and Brady did fast the first yeah. races. Yeah, so. Yeah, they were last fast year, until they he weren't. Was mm. miles. He, he was so fast last year. It yeah. was ridiculous. So that's, right. um, that's who I'm. Yeah, okay. If it's not me, it's going to be them. Okay. I'm How so, about you, Bart? Uh, How about you, Garth? Golding and Dave Russell. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jimmy mm. was on the front row yeah. at the sprint race at the start yep. of the year. And we know yes, Dave Russell's okay. a very, very strong yep. co-driver. So on the podium at Bathurst that probably a lot of people wouldn't have picked. So I think they can continue that form. Maybe 
BJR. They, they, they've just announced their mm. alliance with mm. TA. Has that ki- does that kick in? Has it kicked in? Is it like with immediate effect? Well, Craig Lowndes, you're our reporter from Triple Eight Race Engineering <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. Um, How's it going Jamie, that Jamie's that got the money, that. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I just want to get access clear. to that yeah. cable that's running between 10 cars of information. <laughs> it's a pretty long cable to go from the Triple Eight garage down to BJR. It's I hope called, all the data oh, yeah, makes no. it. No, we, we, we get smoke We've got so many cables, they have to like make one of those worms. You know, those big yeah. like, worms for yeah. travelling. That's a lot of info going back and forth. Oh. There'll be some propellers flying pretty hard on those. Oh, there is. JJ and those boys in there. Yeah, they're always looking at stuff. Yeah. There's always a so positive you, with like, do, do grouping you guys big cars. Get, do you guys get 10, 10 cars of info and the others just get two? <laughs> well, I know we only get information from the two cars. Okay. So if they, those two cars get all the information out of the 10 cars. It sounds like they're getting paid to get 10 cars of info. It sounds like a good deal. I reckon that's probably yeah, a good deal for them. Yeah. It's not a bad deal, is it? Mm. There, is, there is like a silver yeah. lining with everything. Mm. So it, there's obviously 10 cars that are grouped together. Well, when they have a bad session, there's ten. Cars there's ten there. cars in the back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes, Dave. We can keep. No, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I think, I'm not for I think it. Saying, I'm I think it. Triple Eight have pretty much got the runs on the board. That they, mm. yeah, I know. There's a reason why teams. I like to think of the positive all the time. Yeah, I know. Positive for you, negative for them. Yes. Actually, uh, I, okay, well, funny, I want to give you a funny story before you can go on about yeah. Bathurst, and it, and it's it's one that's it's sort of is always stuck in my brain. You got to go all the way back to '97. So I've just come out of Europe. Had a shit run over there. Mm. Um, desperate Murph to have a that year, weren't you? Yeah, it was Murph. Yeah, yeah. Is that Murph, up the top. Is that yeah, yeah. Murph seat? was the lead driver. I was just the co-driver, trying to trying to resurrect a, a some sort of a decent year. Uh, chasing Scafe across the top of the mountain, I go around the outside of a car down into the grate, slam it up against the wall. Have to ah. then apologise to the crew, Murph, and everyone else. And I get out of the car and I walk across to the crowd. And I don't know if you remember, there used to be an old uh, police. Sort yeah, of compound, a yeah, compound yeah, yeah, up yeah, the top yeah, of the yeah. mountain. So, and I always wondered why there was barbed wire, but it was barbed wire <laughs> to keep the people out, not to hit oh, the people yeah. in. <laughs> so, I get, I'm going across, and this young kid comes up and he goes to me, goes, "Oh, signature, signature." And I said, "Oh, look, yeah, yeah, okay." And I've just had a really bad, bad race. I'm really annoyed with myself. And he goes, "No, no, no. Do you want mine?" <laughs> and then with that, he uh, runs off chest, through man. the crowd, and I'm trying to look for him, the little bugger. He's that's, just gone. That's like a Richie, Richie. How about, How an, about autograph? an autograph? <laughs> Who do I make it up to? The dear Richie? Uh, and, then, and then I walk into the police <laughs> compound, and then they've got this big, long trestle with food. And I'm thinking, God, these guys have got the life up here. <laughs> so how long did you hang around? That. <laughs> no, a little while. I had something to eat, got, got rid of it, and then I finally got driven back down the bottom. But, yeah, I always remember this little kid being so cheeky. I'm like, I've just had a shit of a race, <laughs> and he's just tipped it off. Listen, all the greats have crashed HRT yeah. cars there. You know, Pete, where did Peter do it? Oh five. Yeah, same, 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 same spot. Same spot. You, you just had to. I've do it. crashed. Yeah, there. I passed Todd Kelly. I, I did the, the same in that livery. That was a retro livery that year. So I thought must I'd, be that livery. I it must be. <laughs> yeah. And then Garth hey, somehow podium about, that day, and your door fell off in the pit stop uh, in twenty ten. Yeah, twenty ten. So I had to dodge <laughs> Will crashing the car in front of me. Big contact up at Reed Park on the exit of it. We had we hit we hit a kangaroo. Got in. <laughs> the door fell off in the pit stop. Oh. The door fell off. And early in the race, I was coming into the pit lane. And you know, you go through the chicane before the 40k line at Bathurst. And mm. the medical center's right at pit entry there. The medical cars come smoking out of the medical area <laughs> oh. and driven straight into the rear door of the race car when I'm coming <laughs> oh, into the pit lane. So I was like, I on the road, guys, one. you got no, you, this is a mess of how well our day's going. The medical cars just hit us. That's how we're going. And somehow we still ended up on the podium. Actually, I remember before, I think, really? I think, I think yeah, Dave yeah. and Cam were in the car and I'm chatting to GTs, having the day from hell. And you're like, my steering's bent, the things this, the things that. And then towards the end, I think I'm in third chasing the lead and Garth's behind me. I'm like, oh, is Garth a lap behind? They're like... Oh, no, no, he's back in the race. <laughs> he's coming, Garth, he's coming. Garth, just telling me the thing's a lemon, the steering's bent. And I'm like, oh, jeebus, right, oh, here we go. <laughs> we, uh, maybe the medical car straightened up the steering <laughs> for us. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you said it, it gripped up at the end and your thing yeah, it came did go alive. Right. It did go all right. It was pretty average before that. Okay, um, you, um, Will and Dave might need some more elevator music here so because I want to ask a question. Top five supercar drivers of all time. Top five supercar drivers of all time. Yeah. Cool. Oh, God, this is controversial. God, do we need elevator music for all of us? <laughs> In your uh, opinion, you don't have to go stats. You can just go, oh, yeah, I thought he did a really good job or they were underrated. Hang on, can we get away career. on a technicality and say V8 supercar drivers or Australian yeah, touring no, car no, drivers? No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no everyone. Because 93 it. plus. <laughs> Let's go supercar era. Supercar, so a lot okay. Of dri- a, lot of, a lot of the greats are still in the supercar <sighs> era. All right. 
Uh, oh, I, I put uh, Scaife, Jamie, uh, those two. Yeah. Um, I probably Murph. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Hey, can we? Can, yeah. But the, 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 we don't let's have to Craig's agree. Obvious, we don't have Craig's to agree. Craig's obviously in there, but he's not going to say himself. Yeah. So we, yeah. <laughs> Craig, okay. Let's, yeah. let's just put the asterisks down. And say Craig Lowndes. Yes. And even if I wanted to listen, I don't think I've cracked a top five in this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd say Garth. So they're my five. Oh, it's Garth in mine. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So who else would make it? Well, I mean. So I mean, we can have. What do we got? Ambrose. I mean, Neil, I got Jamie. I Ambrose. got Garth. I, yeah, Marcus oh, Ambrose. And there you go. So yeah, there's, there's, there's names yep. like um, Jim Richards. There's names well, like... Well, oh, how far back we get? Richard, yeah, he, 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 he is was actually, cars, I mean, maybe. cracking nah, a shootout a at 53 in yeah, 2003. That was yeah, that was three. I've still got time there. It, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. You can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, DJ said in the other day, he like, goes, I won my last Bathurst at 49 in 94. Oh, oh man, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I've got two years to get that done before DJ. There's names like Glenn Seaton. There's, oh, there's names like Larry Perkins. There's names yeah. like Dick Johnson, like John Bow. It, there's a lot of names to say who's to squeeze in the top five. five. Just, no, you can't. But that's why it's that's why it's subjective. So that's it's, why yeah. you ask. So, I actually really feel sorry for big. for Cito. He oh, never never won Bathurst. Same, like even the yeah. year that he was on target and the thing broke a rocker yeah. going up out of two. I actually yeah. was almost like tearing for him. So All I was young cheering kids him should on. Should be made to watch that. Oh, yeah, because they just get Bathurst. They're like, yeah, of course I got one at twenty. What? Yeah, yeah. What's the big deal? Yeah, but poor old <laughs> it Cito. is a big deal. Oh, it is massive. a big deal. Um, and that that's a great, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, you, you've got to right. have respect for that you're, race. You're right there, Will. But I made Nick Perkat go and watch that after we won mm. Bathurst at, in his first ever Bathurst win. I said, right, you mm-hmm. need to go and appreciate what you've achieved and go and watch the Glen Seaton yep. one. Because yeah, how much it means yeah, to Yeah, how much it does mean. Yeah, it does mean yeah. a lot. What about training yes. for Bathurst? Do you guys, like, do anything different or have you had any injuries going into Bathurst that well, I've never, you've no, had to deal I'm with? Not gonna, I'm not going to go there, Dave. What, you tell me. Thing. You've got no, I'm just injuries. picturing just being leading, <laughs> cramping up with oh, seal. No, I wasn't you. talking about that. I'm like, you know, like the lead up into Bathurst, whether you've been <laughs> no, to the car. Oh, no. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. I've had a. Uh, I've okay, had a let's run. go. Let's move, yeah. to, move away but from you, training. You, let's move away from training because you always, in the week leading up to Bathurst, so the weekend before the Monday, the Tuesday, you always generally try and have a bit of a quiet time and just chill because we all know it's a big week. Mm. Weird things that have gone down right before Bathurst. Um, I've crashed my bike. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. was that? Bad. When did you do oh, that? this is like 2022. Oh, recent. Oh, wow. Very yeah, recent. Yeah, and like just like took what a t- whole leg of skin off my leg and had to drive around like in pain all the time. Yeah, kept it, was, it quiet? Yeah, kept it quiet. Mm. Didn't tell anyone. Uh, Team no? No. Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely no way. I got which, which, the which leg? Shut then. <laughs> uh, my left leg, yeah, luckily. Clutch leg. Yeah, yeah, clutch leg. And yeah, like anything weird, all, all anything weird happened to the Queensland department? No, not nothing weird leading in. I had a I had a good one. Yeah. Did you break your arm, Will? Was that you? No, not arm. I crashed my dirt bike in 2015 after Sandown down in Melbourne. Spent four <laughs> nights in Geelong Hospital. Team. And nice. let's just say I went over the bar as well, and the bar went <clears throat> into a bit of bit of an oh. ordinary area. Oh. It, listen, technically. It, what did I do? I, I sheared balls. my spermatic cord. <laughs> so into the gentleman's <laughs> region, let's say. Oh, so, Will, it hang was, on. It was yeah, quite had a, the sight. Yeah, he's had a you. terrible oh. time with his nuts. What colour? Yeah. What colour did we end up? Um, yeah. Power <laughs> range of purple. <laughs> did we? Yeah. Is there a lot of very blues? Shady. A lot of blues <laughs> and purples involved. A whole involved. variation of darker colours. <laughs> <laughs> this is You've cold. had a couple of cracks at that. I have. Oh, actually, yeah, and no, I was good. I listened. They were checking it. The, the um, And I, I've got a child now, to much to my relief. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> clearly still operational. Yeah, yeah. I, listen, I obviously, after Tasmania, two years later. <laughs> yeah, you the car. Say, yeah. Uh, so I, I got these special um, core shorts, <laughs> body science. <laughs> Thanks, body science, for the, uh, for the core shorts. Uh, and they just gave me some extra protection and uh, <laughs> from the belts, you know. And I didn't do one driver change till it mattered, getting into <laughs> oh, the race. Right. Uh, but Did no, the team got, know? We got through. Uh, yeah, because I had to explain why I wasn't doing driver change. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, listen, they didn't need to see. I just said, I'm a little, oh, it's fine. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to hold off doing any more damage to the race. Oh, so. no, I actually had one in 96. I forgot yeah, about that. I remember that one. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing on a motorbike, dirt bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I split my head open and had about uh, 12 stitches in my head, uh, which only come out on the Monday before no the way. race weekend. <laughs> Jeepers. And I actually. Uh, 96. 96. Um, and the te- and Jeff you? Gretsch wasn't happy. <laughs> like, and Je- Jeff, uh, angry Jeff is an angry Jeff, and he was angry. <laughs> right. So I had to pass uh, a physical on the 
Monday before we left to go up to Bathurst. Stitches came out, finally passed the the test, went up, and I wore a hat the whole time. Oh yeah, and uh, and actually, the worst part of it was when I fell off the motorbike. <clears throat> um, I pinched a nerve in my neck, so my my left arm was paralysed. I couldn't move yeah. it. So I had to get physio on my on my neck to get my fingers working and my hand working to actually pull a gear lever. <laughs> so, uh, he's wow. just forgotten about this minor incident. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate, that was ninety six. That was a minor one. That was a minor one. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, yeah. So anyway, the, I think Jeff was more worried about the blood and everything that was in his car when they were driving me to the hospital. I'm <laughs> trying to get my head stitched up. So you were riding with Jeff? No, 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 no. I no. just had, happened to have Jeff's, oh. Jeff's car. Oh, okay. And I was with uh, some mates. <laughs> Being idiot and uh, fell off it and cut my head open and yeah and then I had to tell Jeff that and then the the worst one was Jeff telling John Crennan <laughs> so that was like the chain of command um, yeah that didn't go down well either it was a two yeah. stroke wasn't it no it wasn't it was oh. a uh, it was a, a four fifty kdm oh, okay in yeah. ninety six hey, yeah yeah left, it was left hand kickstart it was like a real oh. weird looking thing <laughs> hey, early well, kdms did, they were a bit wild did an, um, yeah. Didn't Paul Dumbrell break his arm skiing before back yeah, this one? Yeah, yeah, oh, that was when he was yes. with us at GRM. Yeah, did yeah, he tell did anyone? Did his collarbone. Yeah. Did his collarbone. GRM? Right. PD? GRM, yep, yep. yep. When was 2000, he at GRM? 2001. Shared the car with he Leanne. He did too. He yeah, did yeah, too. 2001. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, okay. I was, I was there. I was yeah. there. I remember this accident. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. Did you hear another one? He'd put on the whole trip and, you know, I think... His uh, stepmom, I can't remember, five of us there. It was an hour into the first day. And <laughs> PD's going home because he's like, yeah, I've done something here. And we have a look. I think Ugh. it was with Jamie and that. We're like, oh, yeah, you're in trouble. But <laughs> we, we, we stayed in the apartment for four days. PD just went home. So it was, it was, <laughs> All right, it was a fun um, trip. We're gonna, <laughs> we missed him greatly. Yes. We're going to wrap this up very, very shortly. Um, Craig Lowndes, your postman pack. Do you have a mailbag? Oh, yes, I do. Postman I do. Pat. Oh. I'll grab one for Will. I'm okay. nervous. Okay. So we have some questions that have come in via socials oh. uh, from our Here's supporters well. that are going Thanks. to ask some questions, hence the mailbag. Oh. And okay. uh, they obviously gave the Queensland address, Reynolds, because we didn't get them. Okay, go. Crow's Nest. Craig oh, Lounge. this is... Craig Lounge, <laughs> Postman Pat. And I'm, and I'm not... Where's the camera? Because I'm not, not fibbing. It's from Rihanna. <laughs> oh, awesome. From, from. Awesome. <laughs> Will Davison. Did you book the dogs into the kennel for this weekend? No, because she's sorting the dog sitter out, surely. Oh. I've told her we're, on a, we're oh. on a budget. The kennel is very expensive, <laughs> 50 bucks a day. A lady comes to her house. One. Anyway, that, did what? she really do that? Is that well, for real? That's what it says. I mean, what she got going? It's not on her way. handwriting, but we have to assume that it was from Super Mum. doing a media podcast. Super Mum. So no, listen, if Rihanna speaks, <laughs> if Mum speaks, I act, as you know, David. Yeah, so we're I'm getting, exactly oh, the same. We're getting a little, we're getting a a little window yes. into the David. So now I'm scared and see you guys. Difference. Thanks for having me on here. <laughs> yeah. I'm off. <laughs> What's your one? Go pick up the dog. So from Liam, uh, what other manufacturers would you like to see join the sport, lads? I assume this is not for me. I'll just... Why? You can answer. You I'll can just, answer. You can answer. Lounge, I'm, just, Lounge, I'm just really interested in Lounge, you guys, you've driven for both the manufacturers so far. So um, who – actually, we What are the cons here? Now. What are the pros and cons? No, no, no. What just, are we looking what, Credibility, what, global so motorsport. Like it doesn't matter. You can say Great Wall if you want to. What manufacturer would – I'd like to see BM. BM? BM. Ooh. They've got some cool cars and okay. you know, good V8 engines. Motorsport heritage. Exactly. What's going to yep. suit what we're after here What's, though, in Australia? Yeah, okay. But that's on the board. Lounge? Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd say Audi. Mm. Audi? Yeah. Really? I reckon the same. A, they're spending a lot of money to go into Formula One. I'm not sure they have much left. Oh, they've got plenty <laughs> left. Uh, Wilbur? Uh, well, listen, you're stating, I love the, the, the culture of those companies that you mentioned, but, um, you know, you see companies like, I don't know, Kia, Hyundai. Mm. I don't know. They're emerging. The emerging, emerging yeah. yeah. Just yeah. looking for the future. Yeah. Yeah, Hyundai is actually going quite well. Mm. Like the cars yeah, are looking very, much nicer. The strong, Kia, obviously. the Stinger. I Mitsubishi. thought we were going to see them, to mm. be honest. Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. No, I think Mazda would be cool. Mazda. They've got a yeah, really Mazda would be cool. cool, yeah. They've got a really cool car coming, RX9. <clears throat> it's got... You know, Reynolds, you could be in an RX9 if you weren't racing for Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, be, All right. he'd be ringing up. Any more? We've got one, more, deal. one more from the mailbag and we're going yeah, to Yeah, yeah, one more. This yeah. one's from Ron. Most Ron. bizarre thing that you've been asked to sign. Uh, I think I was standing next to Craig Lowndes when we signed something pretty bizarre. <laughs> what was it? Tell us. Do you, uh, well, I remember one. I'm not sure because he's got amnesia for his 96 crash. <laughs> um, a guy popped out a glass eyeball. Oh, I was going to no. say that. Yes, cool as. Yep. Yeah, so we were probably all at that same one. 
Yes. I didn't. I don't remember that. You were, yeah. I signed. And a you had a little cigar before. cigar box with other yeah, eyes, yeah, yeah, with other yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. like yeah, <laughs> colours, footy yeah. footy teams, and other yeah. things all yeah. imprinted. No way. I think I yeah. signed that same eyeball. Yeah, it's probably know. the same guy. So oh. yeah, yeah. I had a I had weird. a stomach uh, like I'm going to call it 41 and a half week pregnant lady. Oh, yeah. Really? And signing was the baby called Will afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I've signed oh, how many, okay, HRT, how many, um, I remember getting the, uh, the the guy on the pulled his shirt off at Homebush in 2010 and Bathurst winners had a big garth, myself, scafe signature, like big. And then he's got it tattooed on yeah. him. Oh, this yeah, is the best thing time. ever. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm off to FPR. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know much about tattoo removal? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, this, is a, this one will be interesting. This is for Will from Sam. How many Bathurst 1000 winners are on this podcast? Um, Collectively. Trick question. How many victories or yeah, how many victories. winners? Uh, how many winners? Uh, or how many, how many Bathurst wins? Oh, how, wins. Okay. Collectively. Uh, so we've got seven, uh, we've got nine, and then we've got uh, six, 16. Hang on. Hang on. CL7. Well, I'm seven. Five? Seven GTs, four, five, 12, one Dave, 13. Fifteen. Boom. Is that Am correct? I correct? Yeah, I think so. Nice. Right. Didn't that's, need, that's a lot of wins. Didn't need elevator music for that <laughs> one either. That's, that's, yeah. well, we can thank GT and CL for a lot of them, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> at least we've had it. Hey, that's a lot of wins. We've, you know, we've, 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 we've done contributed. Our part. We've contributed. Well, on that yes. note of um, how highness. many have we let go, guys? How many? Oh, have we let go? Oh, no. Let's get into that. No, that's, that's a whole other hour. Movies. Come That's on, a whole bro. other hour, and we will get that on the next one. So we're going to wrap that up now, Will. A few moments later. So here we go. We're going to waste an hour. <laughs> yeah, the one we'll do, I can hear it. It's called The Ones That Got Away. That's, yes. That's yeah. Once were Warriors. I mean, there's one, once we're motorsport's we're... motorsport, but there's just always one or two. You're like, I just can't let that go. It was that <laughs> 2010 one when Will Davison crashed the yeah. car. Well, I'm intrigued by that. I've always been intrigued by if I didn't do that. Would you too have... Has run out of fuel or not? <laughs> they would have. Yeah, Dave, told we're going to do the chance on Jamie on the last lap. Yeah. Dave was going to get his scafey boxes out on the box on the. Podium. Oh, he didn't tell that story. I was going to. I don't know. He lost me. Forgot. Yeah, the scafe boxes. Well, we're still yeah, recording, so <laughs> yeah. oh, we go. Here we go. Just slap and it in somewhere. Go. <laughs> yeah. Well, serious. Go. Talk, talk about your scafe box, box of shorts did, in did, 2010, it, Dave. You were a big man. You was. A big I was mark, a scafe. Yeah, I still. You didn't even wash them. You wouldn't take them off. He shook my hand once. I didn't like wash it for weeks. No, not really. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. I've always knew there was something. No, weird I like. Adrenaline. Yeah. I was, I was driving for HRT. It was like one of my first times um, at Bathurst, and it was like 2010. <laughs> I was driving Will Davison, and my whole life I had like HRT pajamas, and I, I <laughs> still pajamas, got still pajamas. Got I had they were like really cool. I used to wear them to bed. I was a big fan, and I had a pair of boxer shorts too that had like little Mark Scaife. It was like 2001. So, <laughs> Like his HRT car, like that. You remember was that car? Of his car or of his face? No, it wasn't was of his face. <laughs> no, <laughs> had, it was it had his car on there. Because this is a whole different story. Yeah, that is a whole way. different story. Yes. <laughs> mm. No, but, uh, I remember <laughs> they were silk. Yes, Will. So I remember they were silk. How can I forget seeing I, you in them? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I remember I had to roll them out because I knew that was like that was a pivotal time in my life where I drove for HRT. So did you wear them in the race car? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I wore them under my race. Suit. I think I wore them for practice, but uh, they 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 made a debut. Yes, <laughs> and I uh, remember uh, in my, my wardrobe for practice. like ten. Like how, for how do you nine, feel, Dave? Like how how is it out there? You're like, do I look like Scaife? And what, <laughs> what, what mannerisms? Come on, what mannerisms? I can't even can see you. you the, but what you were you do doing? Them? I can know exactly them? what you're doing. No, I'm not doing the it. Exit a turn Go one, on. shoot out lap. <laughs> no, Go. Doing it. No, Go. You no, can do it. Do I look like Mark the barrel. out there? You do said it to, it to me. There you go. There you go. He's Is he it. doing it? He's done it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were fast. And I said, how's it going? You're like, you have oh, the I got to the top on. of the mountain. and I'm we delete this part? I don't know which way I'm going. Did you breathe? Breathe, Did he breathe? Breathe, Dave. Breathe. We had to tell him to. Please delete it. And you just wanted his age pattern back because he just yeah. wanted I'm to gone. hold it flat six to <laughs> second. He goes, I hate the sequential. I can't do my big downshift. Six, <laughs> six to second off the limiter. Yeah. Exactly. Right. They, Reynolds has walked out. He's not, he's not even here anymore. He's gone. Yeah. God, how good would you have been if we stuck to the age pattern, Dave? 
Oh no, I wish we still had the H pattern because it was so do a spectacle I, actually. to watch. It was cool Let's to watch. Let's bring it back. You know, like and your hand flares, hurt like flares have come back into fashion. Afterwards. Big sunglasses, H patterns are coming back. Fashion's always a circular motion, it always comes back around. I don't and think so. Are H pattern Dude, boxes. mullets are back in. Kids have think, mullets and I don't think, think mullets are cool. Coming back. No, yeah. mate, you're off pace. I've got kids at that age, the mullet's done again. Oh, it's passed. <laughs> no, it's done again. What? What's now? What's in? Uh, mid taper fade. What is that? <laughs> It's where they look like like a um, mullet, but it's not. It's like they've got they look like goats on top, but they're big or alpacas Who, on top. Oh, who's had all shaved underneath? <laughs> who's had the best hair in supercars? Quickly, oh, Fabian. Well, Luffy. You uh, Luffy. No, 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 Rick Kelly. Oh, Rick. He, he's got strong, great hair. He had good strong mm. hair. Game. Fabian. I mean, Fa- Fabian managed to barrel roll the Bundy car a hundred times yeah. the and still have beautiful hair when he got out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's got to be for consistency. It Anton, has to be strong, Luffy. strong hair. Luffy's Luffy. got good hair. No, Rick, Luffy. Rick Luffy's to cut sponsored his own by a hair hairdresser. Too. He's to cut his own hair, did you know? Rick. Yep. Yeah, because he's tied out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's an amazing job, like amazing. And he's been I teaching do, Lex I how do to do mine do now, guys. I do, do mine. You? Yeah, yeah it's clippers great. don't count, Will. Yeah, yeah. Don't count. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was kidding myself until you know a year ago. I was still paying thirty bucks a haircut. I was in there for forty-seven seconds. You know, yeah, <laughs> and the money. barbers go, "Got him again." So, <laughs> right. so we've got some budgets at home now. So. Clearly, got to pay for the dogs. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no we got we got dog sitters. Yeah, and Dash just says car, and uh, it's it's sounding expensive. It's all he does. Want me yeah. to drive him around the house? Oh, I've got some, I'm going to get some I'll, tips I'll off. Have some uh, go-kart off your for you soon. I'll have some go-kart <laughs> Yes. Then I can sell you another Formula Ford. <laughs> no, 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 we still got that one. That'd be perfect for Dash. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much, Will Davison, Craig Lowndes, David Reynolds. That has been the Drivers Only podcast. We're looking forward to Bathurst. Hope to see you all there. 